Hey everyone, the name is Rick Thor. You know, around Christmas time, some people in my office got really hyped and passionate. They were like, yeah, let's put on Christmas music, let's bake cookies, like, let's drink hot cocoa, and let's just enjoy and celebrate Christmas together, you know, and create a Christmas atmosphere at work. At the same time, there were other people at the office who were of another opinion. They were like, but why? Why should we listen to this stupid music? What's the point of baking cookies? Why should we drink cocoa? How are we gonna do this? How have you thought this out? Some people tend to perceive, you know, some of the values and interpersonal relationships and traditions and social uh, atmospheres as lacking in reasons, lacking in argument, lacking in thought. And those types, those that feel that way, they are often classed as introverted thinkers, focused on their personal reasoning, their personal argumentation, their personal rationalization of something they need to come to terms with and explain and rationalize something before they do it. They cannot be bullied into the group atmosphere or into liking something or into participating in something just because everybody else says it's a nice and good thing. They cannot just be bought by sheer passion. They cannot be pushed through sheer passion into feeling a certain way or thinking about something in a certain perspective. Introverted thinking starts with identifying the reasons for you personally to want to do something. So looking at the reasoning process, thinking starts with Thinking, it starts with the process of identifying or thinking about something in circles, coming up with arguments, pros and cons, I could do this, I could like that, I could partake in this, and if I do this, then that, and if that, then that. So often introverted thinking needs to process and come to terms with a decision and make sense of it. Introverted thinking types are seen as critical, perfectionistic, and as... Uh, writing on principle and on paragraphs. The questions are taken as skepticism and negativity, misunderstood as being against what it really just is trying to understand and make sense of, while introverted thinking is asking questions to figure out the logical foundation of something or tries to come up with a rationalization for something, other types might be more resistant. The tribe might feel it's foundation for liking something is being attacked or challenged and perceives it as a conflict, while introverted thinking perceives it as an argument. I'm merely asking, I'm merely trying to figure out, I'm merely trying to understand why I have to do something before I want to do it. I haven't said I want, don't want to do it, I haven't said I want to do it, I'm just trying to understand why I should do it. So looking at things from a pro and con perspective, weighing, measuring, thinking, analyzing, processing, going over the evidence, going over the data, going over the patterns, identifying positives, negatives, identifying me uh, and measuring and trying to see, okay, what gets me further, what gets me uh, closer, what is more productive, what will do get the job done differently, what will get me the most results what will make me feel the most stress-free, what will make me feel the most happy. Measuring all these things, the introverted thinking type is trying to figure out and make a decision. And it's always striving towards, you know, that state of perfection. If introverted feeling is striving towards harmony, just trying to find something it feels ultimately very good with and at peace with. Introverted type thinking is trying to find perfection. The best argument, the best way, the best strategy, the best decision, the best method. And what it's looking to do is come to terms with and balance all arguments and weigh it all out and have counted up all the evidence and thought about all the principles and looked at something critically. It wants to make sure everything has been critically defined, everything has been com compared, everything has been understood, all the maths have been taught out, there are no contradictions, there are no fallacies in reasoning, no flaws in analysis, it's all good, it all makes sense, it's great, I like it, this is perfect. Perfect is a difficult concept to define and so is harmony and so is anything else in Myers Briggs type universe. Anything else that has to do with personality psychology. It's ultimately a complex concept that can only be tracked inside, not outside. 
So what we have to do to understand introverted thinking is we have to interview and ask introverted thinking types questions. We have to try to gauge out their processing. First things first, introverted thinking is a reviewer process. It has nothing to do with organization. It's not trying to organize arguments or arrange thought processes or come up with ways to put things and define things. It's simply trying to take the maths it has already inside and work things out. Sometimes it can be completely arranged, sometimes it can be logically going through things from pro and con in a scheduled and structured manner. Sometimes it can be very chaotic and it can be very much done in the moment. It can be just the uh, numbers and figures popping out everywhere in no seeming order, different things thought out that have no context, no relationship to one another, different pros and cons, that could be good for that, this could happen because of that. But sometimes it can be very strategic, structured and logical and pragmatic. It can be in many sense related to the art of pragmatism itself. You know, if extroverted thinking represents that of uh, mathematically counting up what is best in any given situation, you know, what gives me the highest results, what will get me the most out of this moment, I feel introverted thinking is striving towards something that is very much internal first. So never mind what people will pay me more for, never mind what the system is, says is good, never mind what the people usually do, never mind what a successful business leader usually does to be successful. What should I do? What are my reasons to do something? Starting in the self, it has its own logic, its own uh, systems, its own rationalizations that have not necessarily anything to do with the reality of a situation. Introverted thinking types and their reasoning process and their rationalizations can be completely uh, lacking in foundation in any form of empirical evidence or in any form of results to back up what they are saying. It can be a completely bold statement or argument that they think internally makes sense because they have thought about it and believe me they've thought about it for a long time. But it doesn't have to be something that has been physically proven or something that can be uh, proven in any feasible way. It can be about something that will take years to prove or investigate. It can be something that will never be proven or it cannot be proven or is actually completely wrong and incorrect. You can have a logical reasoning for something and you can have warranted reasons to believe in something that can be completely incorrect. Just because the numbers add up in your head does not mean the evidence will. Not because the theory sounds sound and collected and calibrated carefully in your mind does not mean that it will be ultimately how things are. And there is an aspect of introverted thinking and a positive aspect too, and that is the ability to change the system when it's not working. You know, if it's giving or rewarding bad behavior, if it's uh, become a smart thing to do something stupid, introverted thinking has a desire to correct reality and correct the data and correct the numbers. That person should not get that salary for the amount of work they put in. This system should not allow this because that can be a cheat or that can be a tactical error. This uh, world should not function according to these rules and laws and principles because these laws are outdated and don't work in the present moment. You know, introverted thinking has to make its own peace with the world and accept how things are and it must come to terms with it or it must change the world according to its principles. It's gravitating not just towards internal consistency but also towards wanting to rearrange the world and create also external consistency. It wants the world to add up with its logic. If the world gives the wrong evidence to support your decisions, the world must change, the evidence must change, the laws of reality have to be overwritten to adjust to your logical process. You want the world to ideally work into this ideal reality you have inside where everything is clear, everything is straight, everything is productive, everything is efficient, everything is there because it has a purpose, an explanation, a role, and a clear function. <laughs> but the world around you is imperfect, it's chaotic, it's scattered, it's improductive, it has a lot of embellishments and exaggerations and things in there that makes no sense and serve no purpose. 
So as an introverted thinking type, you have two choices, fix that or accept that. Some things you're going to have to accept, you know, some aspects of reality and some things are there because they are there and will always be there. Some things, however, serve no purpose and it's your duty as an introvert and thinking type to overwrite them. It's you that has to come up with a way to fix it if the world is not working, if something is done wrong, if a group is being stupid, if people are going to throw themselves into something that's completely outrageous. It's your role to correct this belief, fix it and make sure things get better. However, if there are warranted reasons and explanations to do something that sounds or appears to be illogical in your head, well, then you have to be open and critical and ready to adjust your reasoning and see and understand other people's explanations for things. When it comes to extroverted feeling and introverted thinking flow types, introverted thinking flow types have an aversion and insecurity about the tribe, a genuine insecurity about the tribe. They're genuinely worried about what other people will think or feel about what they are doing. They are genuinely worried that other people will be upset with them for having spoken the truth. They are genuinely afraid that other people will be hurt and that they will hurt other people's feelings by mistake for choosing a bad word or for saying something that goes against the tribe norms or for doing something that challenges others, you know. Introverted thinking is genuinely worried about this and doesn't want to or seek to do this actively. It's not its purpose. It's not its point. It's only trying to help. And that's something important with all cognitive functions. They're all motivated, interested in making things better or learning something or gathering something or gaining something. They're all constructive in their primary state. So when dealing with introverted thinking, resist your urge to consider them as negativists or as pessimists. Resist their urge to assume that they are against you. Assume first that they are just trying to understand you and then help them understand you. <laughs> and as an introverted thinking type, make sure people know that you're just trying to understand. Clarify and make sure you explain that uh, you're just trying to figure something out and allow people to explain their reasoning and give them time to explain their reasoning and if they're not able to or if they don't know, help them figure it out. That's my tip on introverted thinking and my tip for introverted thinking flow types. If you're an introverted thinking flow type, feel free to share it in the comments down below. Share your experience. What is your thought about TI? How do you experience it your, in your life? How do people usually perceive you when you use TI? Do you have any misunderstandings with extroverted feeling? Do you have any uh, solutions or advice for introverted thinking types to improve and grow in the use of introverted thinking. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you all in the next one.